So last year, I waited until late in the fall to harvest my peppers. I was watching the weather report waiting on our first freeze. I wanted to let my peppers get as big as they could before I did the final harvest. And so I got my freeze warning and so out to the garden I went. I harvested all the tiny peppers and the larger ones. The smaller peppers found their way into some rice and beans, and then the larger ones I froze for stuffing later in the winter. Now when I stuff my peppers, I like to cut them lengthwise so they are like little boats. And I'll also share the recipe with you here at the end of the video. So when we cut our peppers to make little stuffed pepper boats, go ahead and pick out your largest peppers first, and then you'll want to put them on a flat surface and determine the right way to cut them so that they will lay flat. So just turn it around a little bit and see where they like to rest, and then cut it right down the center. Okay, and then you'll just want to remove your seeds and the little ribs inside. Now I did leave the stem intact on some of these and that'll just make it easier for stuffing. That little stem will pop right out after they've cooked very easily. So once you've cut and cleaned all of your little peppers, get a nice little area where you can dry them off after we blanch them. And so what we're going to do is just in some boiling water, go ahead and put your peppers in there and we want to cook them for about two minutes. They'll turn a nice bright green color and then you can put them in an ice bath to stop the cooking and the reason why we're doing this and I don't always blanch my um, peppers first is because with you know stuffed peppers you kind of want that texture um, and you want them to hold up to stuffing where if you don't blanch your peppers first which is what I don't typically do for bell peppers when I chop them up um, they don't always hold their texture in cooking I usually just throw chopped peppers that I have frozen in soups and that kind of thing. But when we're stuffing peppers, we really want to blanch them first so they hold up with that texture and color. Make sure you dry them off really well. Put them on some parchment paper and into the freezer they go overnight. And then in a one gallon Ziploc bag, a freezer bag, don't use a storage bag, use a freezer bag. You can go ahead and pop those in there. And then with a straw, I like to put that right there in the bag and then I can just suck the air out and then quickly close it as I remove the straw. Um, I just did not feel like pulling out my food saver. Definitely, if you have a food saver on your counter, use that because they will keep much better over the winter. So here's how I like to make my little stuffed pepper boats. And this time I went with a Mexican theme. So I put a little bit of salsa in a couple of casserole dishes. I'm making two family dinners here. And so into the casserole dishes go the peppers. And then I sprinkle just a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese down in the bottom of the pepper. Put a little bit of yellow rice that's already cooked right there on top of the cheese. And then I took some seasoned beef. I seasoned that with taco seasoning. And so I made a lot of that. So I made some for this meal and some for tacos later and nachos. I always cook a lot of meat at one time. And then right here, I'm just drizzling on a little bit of enchilada sauce, or you might call it red sauce, right there on top of the peppers. We'll cover these, put them in the oven to cook at 375 for about 30 minutes. And then I removed them, and then I put a little half slice of Monterey Jack cheese right there on top, along with some more sharp cheddar and then pop those under the broiler until that cheese was nice and melted and just yummy. And there you go. So those were our little stuffed peppers. I went ahead and removed those stems. Remember I said I left some of those stems intact. You can just pull those right out at this time and they, those come out real easy. So there you go. Very delicious, an easy little meal. I made, like I said, double, so it made my job a little bit easier later in the week. And then we put a little salsa on there, along with a couple of little dollops of some sour cream. And then of course, anything else you want to add to this, some green onion, cilantro, all that would be great. And so I hope you can give it a try soon. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.